Uh, okay. Episode four, cha- chapter four, whatever one it is, episode chapter, whatever. Let's go. I'm interested to see how how it goes now that the whole hostage thing is over. I wonder how they're. I don't know how they're gonna do this. Let's see. I'm really curious as to how this is gonna play out now. Before I started going to the pool, I used to run. 5Ks, 10Ks, didn't matter. Not how fast I sprinted, not whether I came in first. Damn, she depressed or something? Or are those like. It was like. I don't know. Trying to outrun my own shadow. Is that because she got taken by the hope? It's hopes? not my shadow I'm running from now. It's his. And he was running long before I was. Jay? I said turn off the engine! You better start driving, Step mate. It, Not that you're gonna out drive a helicopter, but you can try. There, on the left. Or you can go into the woods, that might lose them a little bit. You barely see a thing out there. That's the idea. The engine. Blank motherfuckers. Christ, I can't believe this. <sighs> We're alive. That's something at least. You get the we're dumb for, right? We could still go to the cabin. How? On a magic carpet? Half yeah. the damn state's looking for us. And if anyone knows it's there. Cops will be halfway to Devil's Gulch before they realize they're not following us. The cabin's off grid. Bear never told a soul about the place. We don't know that for sure. It's a huge risk. Well, Jesus, Tyler, we gotta go somewhere. I mean, yeah, we gotta go somewhere. <laughs> Ma's right. The cabin's the safest place we got. Nobody asked you. Hey, don't talk to him like that. I want my daddy. Well. Too bad he got shot in the Rob leg. The sheriff, in the knee. To Mexico. Fuck, Ma. <laughs> All we do is cover up one mistake with the next one. We left Dale lying there. We just. But what were you supposed to do? We just left him. Plus, he deserves that he's an arsehole. As so are you, Tyler, so. Why don't we talk in private? Keep an eye on the kid. No, I'm gonna let her run off into the woods by herself. Stop it. What are you doing? I don't want to be here. Please, let me go. It's too dangerous to let you go here. Like, we're in the middle of the fucking woods, so as much as I don't appreciate her being kidnapped, she is safer with us than out in the fucking woods by herself. <laughs> Those woods are too dangerous. But don't worry, you're safe here with me, okay? We're heading for the cabin. We'll be safe about it. Mm -hmm. Let's hit the highway before that chopper circles back. You sure Pa didn't tell anyone the cabin's there? He barely told me about it. I guess the motorcycle's there, and the food. See? Now you're looking on the bright side. The door is stuck! 
Fuck, I can't get them out! They're gonna die in there! That's when according to plan. Hey, you hear that? Helicopter. They they're just gonna abandon us, aren't they? Go, yeah. Go, go. Our souls. <laughs> Out of here. Open the door, search under the seat, search the glove. Let's search the glove box. Uh, come on. Uh, Screwdriver. Uh, I knew searching before doing anything would be helpful. I mean, we know it's always going to be fine. I mean, they showed her, like, older in the pool, so... Not really any panic about whether she'll be okay. Almost missed that one. <laughs> Ma! They abandoned Ma! you. It's all right. You're safe now. You hurt my daddy. You shot him. Look, I, I did that to protect him. You understand? How did it protect him? Because my family. Would have done worse. Your Fair point. Isn't good. You did so many bad things. I know. I know they did. I, I really wish they hadn't. But you could have stopped them, right? I wish it was that simple. Let's get off the road, okay? It's dangerous here. Come on. Go away. Not until you're safe. Let me go. You're gonna be okay. Maybe it won't be easy after everything that's happened, but you'll be all right. Don't fucking jump off the bridge, dude. Hey, I think I saw someone run. He's just under it. <laughs> He's just hanging. Okay. Book two expansion. cabin and get high where is it yeah look how that worked out for you Dale why can't I find it because what cabin I, I think I need water okay
Somewhere at the edge of the world lies the lost fortress of awesomeness. All those who seek it have perished. This the kid that was from the station thing that like he went away All with his except friends. One fearless young adventurer. I don't even remember. His name? Ash Willema. Famed for his courage, his honor, and his uh, his his resourcefulness big word I'm gonna use it his talent for overcoming problems and this is the story of his quest no. okay Ash is a wee weirdo two months earlier before it burned to the ground look Shima I drew the Shima. story about the fort you know, the one Ryan saw in the forest? There are no forts in Arizona. He's making it up. No, it's true. He was out hiking with his dad, out by the Is ridge. Is that the cabin? There's a rock shaped like a shark's tooth. That's where they saw it. Mm-hmm. I was thinking, wouldn't it be awesome if we went looking for it too? We could camp out for the night and, uh, I don't know, do other cool stuff like, uh, like... Like... Tie a rope swing. We could take some rope and tie it to a tree and make a swing. It'd be amazing, just like Tarzan. Now, if you want to get outdoors, why don't you go ride your bike? And while you're at it, go get the mail. Besides, we can't this weekend because I. Because I've... you're busy, like always. I bet my dad would have gone with me. You have no idea what kind of man your father turned out to be. All right. If you say so. Whatever. Hey, buddy, you be careful on that road now. It'll be dark soon and you ain't got lights. Go get the mail, Ash. Stop being a moody brat, Ash. Screw this. Bruh. I don't think I'm gonna like this kid, he's a bit of a prick. Woohoo! Uh oh. Thunderstorms ahead. Climbing to 30,000 feet. No, it's a prick. I'm not gonna do it. <laughs> the planes are gone, but the quest continues. Like this hunting area, nice. He's gonna get shot. I mean, we know he doesn't, but that would have been funny. No, this this can't be right. Ah, oh, mom. If you'd come with me, we could have found it by now. Bang. Stupid kid. Gotta be something I can eat. Come to Ash. Eat it. Oh, 
want a little piggy. Run! No way. Gotta get water. Gotta get warm. Drink. I'd eat my own arm right now. Don't don't do that. Oh man. Ah. Ah. Whoa. Bear trap. <sighs> Please let there be a medicine cabinet. Band-Aids, painkillers, cough medicine. What? It's called a plaster, not a band-aid, but okay. search parties and notify local radio stations i want everyone in the country knowing the name halt roger that you were lucky a little higher huh? you could have hit an artery i'm just grateful it's always okay the halts do you think you'll catch them i'd say 50 50. the next 24 hours are critical so it just depends on how smart they are Three hours later. Huh? The fuck? This isn't the cabin. Hello? Letter. <laughs> I couldn't find anything else to do. Dear Mrs. Dorland, Vanessa was caught smoking again this week. If it happens again, she'll be suspended. 
Also, please remind her that all t-shirts, especially those with explicit language or that they take the Lord's name in vain, shut the fuck up, are strictly forbidden. My tolerance for her situation only goes so far. Okay. That's the woodman's cottage. It was my mom's, so don't drop it. Are you the one who found me? You're in pretty rough shape. You got babbling about some cabin or something. Are you lost? You could say that. No. I, uh, I got hit by a car. Where? In the forest? On the highway. I must have hit my head and wondered. Oh. Wow. Well, maybe I should call 911. I'd drive you to the hospital, but I'm not supposed to use a car. No. It's America, they can't afford it. My family, we can't afford medical bills. Well, don't you have insurance? I mean, yeah, but you know how it is. They still make you pay more than you can. Well, I'm glad you're alive. I wasn't sure for a while there. <coughs> oh, fuck the police. Are you okay? Better hide. You went to Two Rock High, right? I, uh, yeah. The high school. I went for a while. Thought so. You used to eat lunch alone under that gnarly tree by the parking lot, right? The Juniper. Yeah, that was me. Tell me your name again. It's Dean. Hey, Dean. I'm Vanessa. Look. Good job, Lion. Here a while? That, that won't come back to bite you in the ass. I'll stay out of the way. I promise. Hmm. Well, I guess I don't mind the company. But you have to be gone before eight, or my dad will kill us both. And just so we're clear, I once kicked a guy in the nuts so hard he swallowed his own tongue. <laughs> I doubt with that, but okay. Here. These are all, but they're clean. Thank you. <laughs> so, why'd you leave TRH? You got sick of Mrs. Campbell always sending everyone to detention? Nah, I dropped out. That makes two of us, by the way. I mean, technically I was pulled out so I could go to a lame Catholic school and be told what to wear and what to think, but... What was your excuse? You don't have to after 16. I turned 16. Didn't have to anymore. But don't you want an education? I'm getting one. School of life. See? Much better. Baby, where's my sandwich? I'll be right there. Who was that? Oh, it's just my Mima. Are you hungry? You're what? You're gonna behave yourself today, right, Mima? Hey God, I forgot my cigarettes. You Mima. haven't smoked in years, haven't I? Nope. We have some new developments in what police are now calling the Desert Dream Massacre. We knew one of the shooters was killed at the scene, but it's been confirmed three more are still on the loose. You okay with ham and cheese? Yeah, oh. I love ham and cheese. None of those disgusting sliced singles. The gunman who died was identified as Dale Holt of Two Rock, who had a prior conviction for assault. Leave it on me, you're gonna look suspicious. The suspects are members of the same family. Mima, we have a visitor. Mima. Um, hello there. Hang on, I know that voice. Huh? Oh Lord Almighty, you're home. Are you okay, Mrs. Mima? Is it really you, Maddie? Y yeah, it's me. No. <laughs> I'm sorry. We've never met. My name's Dean. Oh. Maddie died, didn't he? Yes, Mima. The things a mind can forget. 
Here, let me help. I'm glad I don't have anyone with dementia in my family yet. So, Dean, where does a high school dropout go? I'm not judging. I'm just jealous. Oh, you know, we rob motels. Just do chores, mostly. Take care of the yard. If my brothers are home, maybe we go to the dump and find something we can fix, you know? <laughs> sure. <laughs> Who doesn't chill at the dump? Tell you one thing, Matthew made better sandwiches than him. I made your sandwich. And it tastes like cardboard. Because you <coughs> won't let me use condiments. Condoms? I'm gonna go listen to murder, she wrote. It you was nice to meet you, Dave. Y yeah, you too, Mima. She used Mima. to be my role model. She had a motorcycle license, she knew karate. Now she either can't find her pants or can't remember how to put them on. Matt. Matthew, he's your... My brother. <laughs> he died in a car accident. <sighs> that sucks. I'm sorry. Well, I've had time to get used to it. Mima, she forgets. My brother died too. Kind of recent. How? He got shot. Fuck. That's... Ugh, that's horrible. I know. Look, kind do you mind if I study for a little bit? Finals start next week, and I haven't opened a book all semester. Can I help clean up? Be my guest. You know, you were smart to drop out. I mean, do we really need to know three ways Andrew Jackson changed the U.S. presidency? Don't think so. If this comes up, I'm just going to skip it. Such good quick time events, cleaning the dishes. My favorite. So, were you close? Huh? To your brother. Yeah, he was a bully. I don't know. He was kind of mean. Always putting me down and stuff. Wasn't as bad as Pa on a bender. But he wasn't easy to live with. Your dad? He's a drunk or something? Was a drunk. No, he's just a gambler. Fighting for his life in a VA hospital. Damn. Your luck's as bad as mine. What happened? That should be hard not hanged, but yeah. Or tried to. I stopped him. Jesus, Dean. This is a, a horrible thing to say, but. Bruh. <laughs> sometimes I wish my dad would. That. Die. Or that is whatever. extreme. Come on. We don't mean that. You'd understand if you knew him. He's a control freak. Yeah, family can suck in two different hey, ways, but we're talking about the shit. I hate way. my family sometimes too. If it ain't my pa drunk or my brother's picking on me, it's everyone just mad at each other for no reason. Ugh, See, tell me about it. You get it. Anyway, sorry that got so dark. <sighs> hey, you want to help me study? Not really. No, I don't think I'll be much help. <laughs> yeah, you will. That's always better with someone else. Okay. Sure. Minnesota? No. <laughs> Wyoming? Still no. Oh my god, I give up. It's Alaska. Over three million acres of parks, all protected. Only place with more is Canada. Let me see. Okay, your turn. What? No, I Which don't... Which president signed the 1906 oh. Landmark Antiquities Act, created the Forest Service, and established five national parks, including the Grand Canyon? Wait, I think I saw this on TV. I'm not American, so I don't know. Um, I 
I think it's Roosevelt. Which Roosevelt? I don't know, there was more than one. Uh, Theodore, like the fucking chipmunk. Theodore. Teddy. How the hell did you know that? Wait, was that right? A cool story. See, there's I'm this a guy Muir. fucking accidental he genius. A he went camping with Roosevelt once. Convinced him to protect the wilderness with a new law. No, but for real, how the hell did I get that? I just guessed. Wow. <laughs> Wanna take my final for me? Nope. I mean, I suppose I might as well. I'm a genius for guessing. I'm officially gonna fail. So? You don't need some tests to know that you're... You're smart and... You know what? Never mind. Dean. That was, like, really sweet. Shit. He's home early. Just say you're a friend from school. Actually, no, say you're my study partner. The school paired us up because... Hi, Dad. I thought you were working late. I didn't see another car out front. Who's this? Uh... This is Dean, from school. Hello, Dean, Hello. from school. Why does he look familiar? Hello, sir. Was he in a previous well, chapter? I'm glad to see you studying. Am I imagining things? But remind me, Dean. Which school do you go to? Huh? Uh, bridge. No, bridge way, not Broadway. Oh, fuck. Uh, the Broadway school. I'm an idiot. Surely you mean the Bridgeley school. That's what I meant to say, yeah. Right. That's the one. <sighs> Dean's new at school. That's why the academic office put us into a study group together. And you're the one who sells her marijuana? What? No, I told you I stopped smoking. I'm asking him. I should go. You're not going anywhere. I like to know who my daughter spends her time with. Oh, he's gone gone. Nice. You're a cop? I run a private security firm. This company guards banks. Who's that? In a town that hasn't had a bank robbery in Is decades. that the stranger Nothing guy that they... Anyway, that might be no. changing. Because he would recognize him if it was. Tell massacre down on Route 66. Oh, Never mind. right. On the radio earlier. What happened? What happened? Do you know? Apparently, three brothers botched a robbery and took over a motel. Things got pretty nasty. Well, is it over? Not quite. There's a manhunt underway. Once the FBI gets some sketches of his Holt family, their faces will be all over the country. Hey, son. Mm. I need your help with something. Don't you go anywhere. <laughs> okay. I am so, so sorry. I really think I should leave. No, you'll only make it worse. Vanessa, where's Mima's audio book? Hang on, it's probably in the bathroom. Dad, have you checked her underwear drawer? Why would it be in an underwear drawer? Ask her! Hey, um, I really gotta go. I don't want to get interrogated by your dad. Thanks for saying goodbye, at least. You're welcome. You saved my life. I don't know how to thank you. You could kiss, help kiss, me study kiss. again sometime? <laughs> Over coffee? Yeah. I always wanted to try a fancy coffee. Here, let me give you my 411. Yeah, 411? Oh, what? <laughs> He's almost always at work. I thought I told you to stay put. It's a 411. Sir, I need to get home. Well, I suppose I have no right to keep you here. Thank you, sir. My mom will be. Hang on. Why are you wearing my son's clothes? I can explain. We were naked. <laughs> oh my god, I'm so tempted. I am so tempted. No, I'm gonna be honest. <laughs> Look, I got struck by a car earlier. Vanessa found me and cleaned me up. A hit and run? 
You kids should have called the cops. We could just flag down the one that's been patrolling. No. It was my fault. I forgot to look. I was high. Are you kidding me? Get the hell out of my house. Yes, sir. Goddamn junkie. <laughs> you. You're grounded. Jay! You in there? Yes, hide behind the door. So as soon as he opens it, you're hiding. Wake up and hang these bush tails in the pantry for me. Son of a bitch. You ain't Jay. Come here. Uh, what the fuck are you doing here? Huh? Speak up. I, I, I got hurt. Where? Seen worse paper cuts, you pussy. <laughs> Don't you hear about this place? Huh? Who told you? I found it. I swear, I didn't hear about it. You look a little young to be working for those assholes. But something tells me you ain't being straight with me. I am being straight. I am being straight. I promise. No, he's been gay. Nobody told me about this place. That's right. Because it don't exist. Uh. I reckon there's only one reason you came here. And that's to steal my uh. stuff. I mean, we know he doesn't die, but... I'm not afraid of you, old man. What? You, you heard me. Oh, yeah. I heard you. <laughs> you got balls. I'll give you that. Where are you from? Uh, well, well, my, my mom is half Diné, half Maui. You dumb shit. I was asking <laughs> where Stupid. you lived. Never mind. And this mom of yours. Does she know you're here, thief? No. I sneaked out without telling her. She doesn't care what I do anyway. And I'm not a thief. I caught a kid trying to steal from my wallet once. Got my knife under his chin. A knife just like this one. Please don't. Why? What do you think I did to him? I think you're lying. I think... You're making this up just to scare me. Don't you call me a liar, mm -hmm. you cocky little asshole. I told that boy I was gonna cut him loose after I cut a piece off him. But seeing as I'm a reasonable man, I let him choose which. Finger or ear. Now it's your turn. Choose. Finger, ear, finger, ear. Take a finger. Make it quick. Finger, huh? That's exactly what he chose. That's when I see tears coming. So I tell him, there's no greater shame than stealing from your own father. And as he was my eldest son, I was going to teach him some respect. Now that may sound harsh, but it's no different to how my pappy taught me. And afterwards, I said, you'll thank me for it. He never thanked me for it. Instead, he started to cry for his mama. So I let him go. Pa? Hey, Pa! Listen good, you little fuck. You know what'll happen if I see you here again. So run home to your mama and never look back. Now run, Meatball! Uh. Faster! Before I change my mind! Bastard, you so fat that kid is, he can't run very fast. Oh, what are you shooting at? <laughs> A kid.
Oh, well done, mate. Please don't. It looks broken to me. Mom. Mom. That's why you I'm watch where you're going. I should have come straight home. Stupid shit. Adventure camp? Hope you and your boy have a great trip, Miss Willemma. He's gonna be so surprised. That's today. Oh, Mom. If I broke an ankle. I really, really don't feel good. The sheriff's department looking for you. Tell my mom. <laughs> I'm sorry. Now hold on. You tell her yourself. You okay? <laughs> Jesus, what happened to you? I was. <laughs> I was looking for the fort. Ash, what are you talking about? What happened to you out there? Ooh. If I keep it a Secret. The police won't find it when the hopes are there. But if I tell them, they'll find it. Those people are arsehole's, but also this guy's an arsehole. I, I couldn't find it. I fell. Got lost. That's all. Ash? Ash? Ash. Easy, easy. I, I got you. We're gonna get you to a hospital. Okay. But he dropped the painting. Well done, mate. Abandoned me, you bricks. <laughs> Have you seen anyone looking for us? Not since we ran. We're safe here, honey. I don't know. We're on the radio, Ma. What were you thinking? Sneaking up on us like that. Were you followed? I know how to cover my tracks. You got some kind of plan? Beginnings of one. Dante's got an account number in that little black book. If it's what I think it is, That's then... for later. First, we need to get to Canada. Canada? Cops are gonna be all over the southern border, so we head north. You hate the cold. Don't worry, Jay. Canada's not back. always cold. <laughs> you know that, right? No, you don't, Bill Sher. 
I know Dale did. With you... Sometimes I don't know. I'll always look out for this family. No matter you what. left me to die in the car crash, I'm gonna crash, take mate. first watch. You two get some rest. We got a long day tomorrow. Oh, you sleep longer. I was tuning up the bike. We're not going to Canada. We're going to Texas. Huh? I know a guy in Eagle Pass can get us across the Grand. So, why'd you tell Jay North? Because he ain't coming. First thing tomorrow, I'll send him to Canab. Say he's our scout. Well. By the time he gets back, we'll be long gone. No, Toji's a prick. I am not doing that to him. Ain't it bad enough we lost Dale? Hey, you think I want this? That I want any of it? <sighs> We both know Jay was never exactly your favorite. But I still looked out for him, didn't I? All I've ever done, I did for this family. Worked my butt off since I was 14. Been protecting you from Pa from when I was old enough to hit him back. Hell, I barely even had a life of my own. I was so busy dealing with everyone else's. For 25 years, it's always been me who takes it on the chin. Tyler, the eldest, the responsible one. Well, enough's enough, Ma. I ain't going down with the ship. There's two seats on that motorcycle, not three. And Jay ain't getting one. What are you doing? Leaving. This is crazy. I'll stay. You two go. You'll never survive out here alone. But Jay will. He practically lives in these woods. I don't care. I'll die here if I have to. Nuh-uh. We're all gonna make it because Jay's gonna do the right thing and stay. You stay, you prick. You be the one. I don't want to be alone. Oh, come on. You love being alone. You've been running off alone ever since you learned to walk. Besides, you owe us. Owe you? You heard me. You're the one who stole that goddamn book. I didn't know. Exactly. Because you're always in your own goddamn world. Pa, he treated you like you were some golden boy. But you've been lost in your daydream since the day we took you in. What? Your real mom should have done us a favor. What? Tyler. Enough. What do you mean? My real mom? Mama? What's he talking about? <sighs> you are blood, and I raised you as a son. So that makes me your mother. The rest doesn't matter. It kind of does. <laughs> it matters to me. Who is my real mom? My younger sister, Brooke. She died giving birth to you. You had a sister? Who was my father? You don't have one. And that was the born, you dumbass. I'm leaving. You better hope I don't get caught. Jay, please. Let's talk about this. Tyler, what are you doing? He knows the whole goddamn plan. Jay! Jay! Don't you dare hurt him! Jay! Get back here!
Forget what I said, okay? Bullshit. Of course I'm your brother. Bullshit. I used to change shit. your diapers. I know you once tried to keep a squirrel as a pet. And that you hate Ma's baked potatoes. I don't want to hurt you, Jay. I just need to know you're not going to tell anyone the plan. Don't push me, Tyler. You're not my brother anymore. Come on now. You're just being dramatic. I'll shoot you if I have to. I don't want to, but if you make me... <coughs> Get down here, Jay. I swear to fucking God. Why are you climbing a tree? What is this gonna do? Fuck you. Jay, no, don't do this. You were going to kill me just so I wouldn't talk. Of course, I wasn't going to. I just needed to look you in the eye and know that we're good. We're not good. We were never good. Ah, oh, come on. We're family. Actually, I liked your first idea. I'm going to Canada. Say bye to Ma for me. Our soul. Value freedom, values adventure and the road less travelled, okay. Fierce, unafraid of confrontation and physical danger, and still fast reflexes. All right, let's see. Um, at the motel of Zoe hostage, thirty-seven. Only twenty-one percent kept her in the car. Wow. Left in the wreckage of Zoe, twenty-one percent. Took Zoe to safety, nineteen percent. Oh, what am I doing? Told Mima the truth. Told Vanessa about Bear. Answered the history question. I don't know how I did that. I'm mean, I'm suspicious, yeah, because I pressed the wrong fucking button. <laughs> uh, said goodbye, and I was stopped by Mr. Dorland, and I convinced him. Okay, the you know, family, Jim was adopted. Asked about birth, mum, 80%. I won the fight. I ran away. Mm -hmm. Just by Tyler into the woods. Attacked by Tyler. G has the gun, I climbed into the tree, 22% stomped on his fingers, Tyler was arrested under the- Tyler was arrested? When was Tyler arrested? He didn't get arrested. Okay. And 8% I became a fugitive. When did Tyler get arrested? What? I think these are bugged a little bit, I don't know. Ate the chocolate bar, nom. Um, escaped from the bear unharmed. Treated my injuries. 
56 was in 10 again, 37% bear got mean. I escaped from the ditch and I didn't reveal the cabin to Dante. I still don't remember him Tyler getting arrested, but I'm going to assume that happened off screen then. I don't know. Whatever. I guess we'll find out in the next chapter.